surgeries or laser proctology. Before I start laser proctology, I shall give a small introduction how laser works, what we are doing with laser proctology, and subsequently I shall be performing different surgeries, hemorrhoids, fissure, fistulas, and I shall tell you how it is being done. What are the limitations which is also very important for everyone to learn. Whenever a new procedure comes, there is a huge hype about the procedure. But I want to be very practical. I want to show you how far you can go with the laser and what are the limitations that we face while doing with the laser. Which all have to understand so that you know, the procedure becomes a success and safe for your patient. So, uh, I invite Dr. Quarisi, Dr. Hamid to speak, please. Right. To understand the laser physics, we are not physicists. We all are surgeons. So, from a lame, we are laymen in physics. Let us uh, be admit ourselves it's like that. This slide will explain to us uh, in a very clear cut message is how the laser works. Here there are three types of main chromatophores in our body. Water, RBC and melanin. If these chromatophores are there, different types of laser wave interacts with these chromatophores in a different way. Yeah. There is holmium laser for the urology, there is exclimal laser for the ophthalmology, CO2 laser for the dermatologist. So laser is used for the medical science in different uh, streams, but each one is a different laser. No sound, no flow. Check it up with the help of Doppler, there is no flow. There is another vessel. No flow. 